Thank you for joining us today at Miniature Wargaming Labs. Today, we'll be taking a look at the Napoli Boys, the fifth gang from Funky Skulls Games for their Street Wars NYC, set in 1970s New York. So I bought this in the 2020 Kickstarter. I paid $22 for it, and it comes with eight metal miniatures. So that's $2.75 a miniature. And for $2.75, these are some high-quality guys here I found with their fresh molds and the sculpts done here. Almost non-existent mold lines on these guys, which makes putting them together very easy. Now you see you've got uh, their jackets, the uh, running lines here are sculpted in, so that make the painting easy. Now the worst you normally find is little pieces of flash like that. And that'll be easy to take off. So these guys will come together very quickly. And let's see, they all look to be satisfactory. And they come with my favorite thing here. Here's their decal transfer sheet. Ace of Spades with the skull and crossbones. Um, I've got more than enough to do everyone here and some other third party models to add on to my gang if I choose to. But I might actually order more of these to add to my Warhammer 40k Imperial Guard. I just like that uh, old school recon look to them. And here's our cards. So a standard game of Street Wars NYC is eight models, which we have, so it comes with eight cards here, one for each one of the models. And you normally get a new blood, four soldiers, two lieutenants, and war warlord on there to hang out in Ozone Park. All right, let's get these guys together and on the table. I've finished cleaning, so filing down these guys, getting them to fit into their little bases. We needed a couple of them to like tighten up the fit between the slots and the base. Otherwise, this probably came together. It took me about an hour to clean these guys up. The biggest issue was, and I didn't see this when I did the unboxing, the uh, undercuts underneath their arms. So something you wouldn't even see uh, on the table if you went ahead, but I know mold lines are there. So these models look really good on my mat. Uh, I'm using a Frontline Gaming mat, and so it's scaled for 28 millimeters, so these guys look good on the table. But I just don't want them for games or Street Wars NYC, or I might want to mix models from other miniature lines in. So let's go ahead and compare this to some of the size scales that I also use in 28 millimeters. So I'll just leave two figures out here. Now the one I want to mix the most, um, Studio Miniatures. So let's take uh, Jules and Vincent, put them in there, and maybe we'll have an adventure where the A-Team gets involved to clean up the mean streets of New York. So you can see here is the Studio Miniatures 28mm fits in perfectly with um, the Funky Skulls games. Now something else I would like to use is North Star. So they have from uh, a Yakuza model line here. And we can see very similarly lightly armed, just pistols and fists. So if I wanted to introduce Chinatown into my games, I could. And so we see this 28 millimeter scale uh, fits in very well. And another range that I'll probably use with them, mostly for civilians and police, will probably be Spectre Miniatures. Now this one we can see the height is right, but the Spectre Miniatures are just a little bit slimmer, so they look more frail compared to these guys right here, which might work since I'm going to use them more as background. Now I wanted to see how they fit with some of my existing terrain lines. So something I like, it fits well at the 28mm scale, 
is MCP's plastic terrain. So you can see that even though it's uh, MCP's uh, 40 millimeter game, we can see with the three inch height, it works well with 28 millimeters for these individuals walking along. And something that I had uh, made special, I printed this, found out these files on Thingiverse. So 3DP Design Labs remix of Train for Prints 28 millimeter brownstone. So let's so you can see those models fit in well with what will serve largely for the neighborhood backdrop for my gangs there. So very happy with this purchase, especially um, below 25 bucks for eight models. Uh, they work out like 275 a model. I think that's a good price for very well sculpted models that fit in with my existing 28 millimeter range. So definite buy, even if you just have them floating around the table doing other stuff. Well, thank you for joining us at Miniature Wargaming Labs, and we'll see you next time.